Cuts edition, and we have Candace Romo here, and I'm Tiffany Cuts. So, Candace, from your mom's point of view, you are quite the athlete. I remember being at soccer practice last year, and we were talking about how cute the boys were running around, and she goes, well, did you know, Tiffany, that Candace was quite the basketball player? Yes, I um, just loved sports. I was very athletic, and basketball was my main one. I loved it. I dislocated my shoulder a lot and had to have shoulder surgery and um, I ran cross country and track and golf and I really just loved the competitive aspect of it and I just really enjoyed enjoyed it. And Which was your favorite out of all of it? Basketball definitely. I just okay. loved the it's the team el t team element of that and just the fast pace you know genre of basketball and I just really loved it. I mean, Tony and I sometimes have to get out there and do a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. This is a problem when you have when you have two athletes in one household. Everything gets a little bit overly competitive to a fault. And so you guys are competitive, I think. Yes. yes. I mean, I remember <laughs> when we were first dating and we went on a, a jog together. I found my, myself sprinting the two miles just so I wouldn't lose. And I'm like, in my head, I look back and I'm like, that was so stupid. He is the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. He should be faster than me. But, I mean, I halfway through it, he's like, okay, we're only halfway done. I'm like, I can't. I'm done. I can't. I can't do this sprint for two more miles. And so I think that was like the first and the last time I've ever jogged with him because I just yeah. it wasn't a jog. It was a, quite the sprint for the two miles. And, uh, and you play golf, which Tony loves yes, golf. Tony loves golf. And the problem is, I he's actually way better than I am. And he'd always want me to play with him, but with his like really good golfing buddies too. And I'm like, I'm not playing with all of you guys. I'm going to slow you down. And Rivers, I remember mm -hmm. a couple, I want to say it was almost a year ago, you yeah. guys had him, Rivers is only two, mm -hmm. but this would have had to have been a little past a year, and he swings yes. better than I do. He yeah. has that <laughs> Tony Romo, like, born with this talent ability to just oh. have, he just takes it, like, perfect, keeps his head down, everything, rotating the hips, it's like, I think we were just messing around one day with him, and I was like, whoa, I gotta get that on camera. <laughs> oh, no. I heard him, what a incredible thing to have in a one family that mm -hmm. really sports is such a big part of your guys' life mm -hmm. and you understand that so much that Tony does and that's yeah. rare because I can tell you I was not athletic. <laughs> I was not well, one of the things that well, what's <laughs> funny about it too is that Tony met me after I mean he didn't see me play in high school he doesn't know yeah. how athletic I, I am so he hears people tell him like that I got you know X awards in high school and that I was like <laughs> this athletic chick he's always like I feel like surprised because he's like, I haven't seen her work out like that in years. <laughs> I think he's always like surprised. I'm like, one day, honey, I'm going to make you sit down and watch my basketball footage because I did. I mean, I, you know, at the time, I felt like I was yeah. fairly. How decent. long did you play? Um, since I was in the, like second grade or third grade. Okay, did you kind of play up to high school? Mm -hmm. Okay, senior year, and I thought about maybe in college yeah. playing, but then I decided just to go for the broadcasting thing. Okay, I wasn't tall enough. Probably. <laughs> no, what position were you? I was a point guard. Were? Mm -hmm. I was a little. I know. I was probably. People would probably think that I was too tall to even be a point guard, but I was quick, so I could so dribble around and do some chicks. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay tuned for more about the wonderful life of Kansas.